Vintage Keep Draft. Pretty unexciting pack one here. Kind of the two standout cards in my mind are Tropical Island and Jace. Jace is pretty good, uh, but never hurts to have a Tropical Island. I really like blue-green. Also, we just got past a second pick, Mox Emerald, so that's good, I guess. That's normal. <laughs> that's normal and reasonable. Look at these reanimator targets. Jeez, Woodfall and Grizzlebrand. Easy Mox. Easy Sylvan Library, I have to assume. What else is going on in this pack? Oh, there's also Upheaval. Upheaval is a very good blue-green card. It's also just like one of my favorite cards in the cube. I mean, Upheaval is clearly better than Time Warp as an early pick, because being able to build around Upheaval is so powerful. So I think it's between Upheaval and Sylvan. Sylvan would really cement us in green. But Upheaval is just a very unique effect. Really nothing else like it. Now we have Misty Rainforest, continue cementing us in blue-green. We have Arbor Elf as a nice piece of ramp. Um, Garrick's pretty good too. So I do think Arbor Elf is meaningfully worse than the other one mana dorks, but also blue-green kind of wants as many as it can get. But the other thing is the mana in blue-green can come sometimes be kind of rough because you want lots of forests for stuff like Rothalos, but also need double blue. So that makes Misty pretty pretty appealing, I think. I think I just want to take it Misty Rainforest, weirdly. Okay, Fractal Entity's fucked up. There's also a Windswept Heath, which would be another fetch. Would make things like Corsair of Crufix very exciting to find. Uh, or Fast Bond. But I think Fractured Identity is a really absurd card. And with the Fetch Land, we're already, you know, starting to be set up to maybe splash it. Okay, finally we have a weak pack. Wild Spine Worm is a very unique card that obviously does not go in every deck. The roll is weirdly okay with upheaval and fractured identity, though generally not a very good card if you're not storming. I think Deep Forest Hermit is specifically good with the card opposition. Yeah, Leyline Binding could be good with what's happening with our mana base, that's true. My card is reasonable. Um kinda wanna take the hermit weirdly in case I find opposition. Maybe that's silly though. Maybe I'm just meant to take Binding. I could still be a control deck rather than a ramp deck, right? You Uro. Uro and Corsa both in. We are Bank Cuban. A turn. Uro and Corsa both great cards, both good pickups for this deck. Obviously, Corsa is really nice with this fetch land, but I really just want to take the Uro, I think. It's such a unique card. We already have a fetch land, which works with this too. You wandering emperor. Well, yeah, we could just be Bant, huh? Instead of like blue green. Wandering Emperor is a really, really strong card. Miss once again slop. Mm -hmm, absolutely. I I kinda like voice of resurgence too, depending on what we're doing, but yeah. Wandering Emperor. So now we could just take the Sea Chrome Coast because we know we want to play some white cards. Obviously, this Reclamation Sage is quite strong, but kind of just like sorting out my mana base here. Hmm. So if we're more mid rangey rather than rampy, we could play Asper Sentinel. Primus is like an okay thing to ramp into, but you mainly want to cheat it out. We could also just take the Scrubland. It helps with Leyline Binding. And maybe we find black cards I want to play. So 
so we might be beautiful. Oh, we could be an Omnath deck, right? <laughs> is this the Omnath deck? Is this the Omnath dream? I think Sylvan Library is so absurd. Oh, I'm sorry, Omnath. Sylvan Light. If Sylvan Library wasn't there, I'd be really happy to take the Omnath and speculate it, but I think Library is just too good. That makes sense, Pearl. Checks out. Arbor Elf, what the fuck? Cool. There was another good green card with Arbor Elf. There was the Garrick. There is another green drafter. Oh, we're never playing either of these cards. Maybe we end up more mid rangey than I suspect we will. If we get Flash, Wild Spine Worm is like really good. But if we get Opposition Hermit, it's really good. So who even knows? We're not playing this pod. But it's not a very playable card. All right. Uh, pack number two. Wow. God, what a beating. I could have just taken the Wild Spine Worm. Instant punish, yeah. Instant punish, instant punish. Sure wish we had a what? Yep, you know, I wish we, there's just never a chance that I didn't see one. Haven't seen a Wild Spine Worm all draft. Don't know what you're talking about. So there's Miscalc, Foth, Breeding Pool. Yeah, the flash punish. It's so heartbreaking. Ooh, Verdant Catacombs. Mox Diamond. Oh, there's some interesting stuff here. Excavator 2 could be interesting that we will probably wheel that, I would hope. Beast with forever tags. Yeah, Beast has a lot, a lot of tags, huh? I kind of like the burning catacombs. I don't know. Maybe I just, I'm just meant to take this, though. Mark Simon's such a weird card. Sometimes it's kind of just garbage, and sometimes it's kind of busted. Burning catacombs is always going to be good. I guess I'll take the marks. It helps with being like a million colors too. Renin 6. That makes marks a lot better. That makes marks an absurd pickup. We're passing a DAC there, which is sad, obviously. Do you wish we had that on NAF, but obviously library is amazing in this deck. Ooh, Primeval Titan, Tree Speaker, Memory Jar. We don't have that many mana dorks yet, though. At least we have two Moxen to make up for that. I do like Primeval Titan quite a bit. Well, choosing between these two is pretty challenging. Obviously, Fury is great too, but Double Red seems tricky. The greatest dead thief in the multiverse, Rip Duck. Slam the prime time. Hmm. They're both good with upheaval, so that's not really an argument one way or the other. I guess they take the prime time. Well, prime time makes natural order way better. Now we can pick up a bunch of mana dorks and have something nice to. Nice to go find. There is a Keenan too. Keenan's already good in this deck. Solemn, Fran, they're both good in this deck. But imagine if we had the stupid Wild Spine Worm. <laughs> hey, Max. 
I know, sure would be great if we had a world spine worm. God, Besaju's so nice in our run and six stack, but obviously we just have to take an elf at this point. We keep passing them. I have to take one at some point. A razor verge thicket. Uh I don't know that we can cast unexpectedly absent that easily. We are now playing Squirrel Tribal. Ooh, Green Sun Zenith. And Hallowed Fountain. Yeah, we need them to natural order exactly. We kind of need this Zenith, I think. Okay. Hard to imagine that any of these cards make our deck. Maybe we sideboard a Lion Sash. Oh my god, the Verdant Wield. What the fuck? That's amazing. That's so good with our Renin 6. And we have a Deep Root Wayfinder with two Moxen and two Fetchlands. This could be good, right? I feel like this card's normally pretty stinky. But I feel like here it could be good. Yeah, Everflowing Chalice is pretty heinous. That's true. We're never playing Emery, right? But we're also like, maybe maybe there's some weird matchup where we sideboard an Elish Norn. Solemn's fine. Oh, we do have two Moxen for Trinket Mage. Hmm. All right, this is going pretty well. We currently have, I'm probably not playing this Glimmer Lens realistically. We currently have four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 spells, and we've opened Mana Crypt and Oko. Hmm. Oh boy. Wheel the yeah, we're gonna wheel an elf, it's true. Passing Oko's mmm hot. It hurts. This mana crypt is really good in our deck. Yeah, it isn't close in enough. I, I agree, it just hurts. It just hurts, but we'll f we'll find a way to make it through this very trying time. I'm sure. You sail into the west. Nissa is great. Golos, yeah, Golos is nice. Swords is nice. Wow, there's some good cards here. Good fucking card, sir. What do I take, y'all? I have no clue. <laughs> Everyone wants me to take go loss. I don't think it's go loss, sadly. I think it might be swords, yeah. Take the efficient card when we already have good late game. And we're gonna wheel a green card then, hopefully. I think I like that. It was an arid mesa. How's good arid mesa for us? It's not the best, because we didn't pick up that hallowed fountain, right? But we do need fetch lands for run and six. And Uro. Thinker is awesome if we had hits. Yeah. Yeah. I considered getting Triplicate Titan earlier in the draft. 
I don't think City of Traders is good. I could be wrong about that though. I do like Hex Drinker too. I think it has to be Arid Mesa. Ooh, Teferino. Teferino slaps. There's also a uh, pest infestation. Oh, we'll hire. Oh no, Tiger as well. Fuck. We really need a Tiger. It makes this Arid Mesa great. It means our Misty and Verdant can fetch red for our run in six. Oh, we're going to wheel a Mana Dork though, right? From our original pack. So we're still going to get the third Mana Dork. Uh, this is a leak. Forced to take Pest in pod play. That's true. Yeah, I think we have to take Tiger. I think Tiger's too important to our mana base to take the Noble there. And we got a Halfling anyway. I guess the Tundra could be important too. Is the Tundra important? So this can already get white. No, it can't get white. Mm. The Halfling's so good. I do think this is less important than Tiger was. But maybe we still need it anyway. Because these two already get blue. I guess we don't have white fetchables, right? We don't really have white fetchables. This is the problem. I'm sorry, delighted halfling. Ding, ding, ding. I assume Rophalos is still really good in this deck, right? <laughs> Even with our four colors, we have so many fetch lands. We have 18 spells. Time to start taking spells then. Oh, can I play Grist? I have... I have this Scrubland. What fetches Scrubland? This fetches Scrubland, this fetches Scrubland. Currently have four black sources. Take this rule. I don't think I can cast this Cryptic ever. Sail into the west. Hell yes. What a find. What a find. I was really hoping this would wheel. Because the Nissa was in this pack too, right? So this was pretty likely to wheel. And we get a talisman, I guess. Is Sarah gun good here? We have three fetch lands, right? And we have a mox diamond. I don't know that we need this talisman. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that's good, but I'll take it, I guess. <laughs> All right, we have a deck. We have some cards. We only need to add one basic land and we have 40 cards. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> oh, I had planes ship it. Uh, I could just play Alishnorn, right? All right, we have 14 mana sources on our sideboard that we're going to be adding in in a second. <laughs> this is incredible. Yeah, move them down. This is 25 spells. We probably only need 24. This natural order underwhelms. Yeah, it's probably pretty stinky. Uh, it only finds prime time. Uh, 
I want to play Elishnorn instead of like some. I guess outcome is not making the cut, right? This is a totally normal limited deck, yeah. Now, this seems kind of legit, I agree. Cut this outcome. A data pusher. Yeah, a lot of dorks, not much to use them on, exactly. <laughs> oh, you're welcome. I was uh, very focused on four color pile. All right, do we like this? This is 24. This list does look fun, doesn't it? I wonder if we want another land because of Mox Diamond. Play 17 mana sources instead of 16. We'll see how our mana is first, and then I'll figure that out. So we have the three moxes. Planes, ship it. Mm -hmm. We have these are fetch lands. We have these fetch targets. And then we have these fast lands that may or may not make the cut. So green, we have one. So Arid Mesa finds Tiger. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. Uh yeah, also Sylvan Library kind of helps a lot too. You just turn one this off the diamond, right? And refill your hand. Blue. Arid Mesa finds Tundra. Verdant Catacombs finds Trop. So we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blue, which is like probably about right. We probably don't need an island. It's nice. White. Verdant Catacombs finds Scrubland, I guess. Arid Mesa finds this. This finds Tundra. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I wouldn't hate a planes actually. We have a lot of double white. <laughs> Maybe it is just add planes, ship it. Um, red. This is three, four. Five, we have five red sources. I really don't want to add a mountain. We're definitely adding a plains, and I think we might be adding a forest. Oh my god, I wish it didn't reset my deck view when I added lands. So annoying. We need to lay it out for a screenshot. Oh, do we only have three forests for Rophalos? Is Rophalos kind of stinky in this deck? Rophalos might be a little stinky in this deck. Rophalos might be better as a land. Ao chemical. So we do only have three forests. However, these are also forests. That's still only six. Seven. Still only seven. Also Utopia Sprawl. Yeah, I think seven is fine for Sprawl. I think this Rophalos is a bit sketchy. I might want to turn the Rophalos into a forest. Pod. Pod isn't good in any deck. Pod is always bad. Pod has been bad for five years. Okay. Yeah, minus one rough loss, plus one forest. Sounds great.
Oh, we're not quite singleton. That's so heartbreaking. We're one card off singleton, y'all. Need to try harder. Could have made it a swamp. Swamp does make leyline binding marginally better, but also let's not do that. <laughs> let's not do that. I think making it a mountain would be way more sensible and still bad. I'm excited for this Renin Six. This is like one of the better Renin Sixes I've seen in Cube. Also, this Wayfinder could be like weirdly legit. I wish we had a way to more easy. I guess we Teferi can bounce Mana Crypt. That's so cool. We can bounce our Mana Crypt back to our hand. Forever longing to play Paradoxical Outcome, but obviously it's not going to happen. Love to play first. This hand is lacking in Moxon, but obviously I'm keeping. Kind of want to save this fetch land, right? For use with the library. Uh oh. We're in danger. We are in danger. And this can get Tiger to complete our colors. <sighs> That's a good turn too. Good fucking turn too, right there. I need this fractured identity. So I guess, mm, is this the plan to ferry a token or is the plan elf into identity? I think to ferrying a token is pretty reasonable. Normally I would pay life very aggressively with library. However, I worry we're about to get beaten down a bunch and that every point of life is going to matter. We're going to get to go solemn into identity into Norn as our next three turns, which is really solid. And they do have to attack this Teff at some point. Oh wow, they're not animating the Chariot. That's such good news. That's so good for us. That means they're not playing a creature this turn. Fantastic. Okay, well we're going to shuffle off the Solemn. Um... Hmm. I think I can get rid of the sail into the west. I kind of want to get rid of the shark typhoon. Hmm. 
and get a forest. We have farms to identity at the ready. This is a lot of mana. Seven. Let me see. Pretty good. It exiles, right? How about we take that? That sounds pretty good. Oh, not if it dies to combat damage. Interesting. Oh, I really want to get this Ren and Six going. With these fetch lands. I guess I could just Swords the Germ. I don't know. Does this find a white source? Um, it finds scrubland. Cool. We can put this on top to maybe draw it if we want to, but we still have swords open. I would like a cauldra, please. Thank you. Your turn. Dies to state baits effects before getting exiled. Cool, that makes sense. That's good to know. It's a good thing we have this Elish non. <laughs> oh. Does mean shuffling away this Ren, but I'm sure we'll live. Or well, I could draw the Ren off the Solemn, actually. Uh, am I exiling this cat car? I feel like the answer is probably. And then we just have to find a land in our top three or top four. That isn't botanical sanctum. Mana crypt kind of plays. Mark's emerald also plays. All right, please don't have force of will plus blue card. I feel like you would have used it by now if you did, but. Be very rude. <laughs> very good, Alish Norn. This deck rules, doesn't it? This deck's fun. This is a sweet one right here. Next turn we can cast and flashback Uro. <laughs> Cause why wouldn't we be able to, you know? Why wouldn't we be able to? We could green suns for our own prime time. That's also true. That sounds pretty spicy. Hmm. 
Hmm. What am I doing? I kind of just feel like doing the arrow thing sounds kind of reasonable. Oh no, we only have two blue. I'm so silly. We only have two blue. Hopefully we don't die to like some bane fire effect. Because I paid life there that I didn't need to pay. We have two blockers, so we should be fine against most things. They are blocking. And they go into five. Them blocking is either very good news or very bad news. Okay, they concede. Oh yeah. This deck slaps. This deck's so good. Also, the best thing about this deck, we don't have to sideboard at all. Because <laughs> we don't have one. We used our picks so efficiently. Bizarre. This is fine. This Saragon is looking very good in this hand. The double fetch land mox diamond Saragon hand, a classic. Hey, Nicole. No, they have to turn one workshop again. They have literally the same opening. Oh my god. Jitte, huh? Jitte, jitte, jitte. Well. Turn one Sarah. I kind of want to go turn one Teth, right? And then play Sarah on a turn when it gets a land back. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I just want to use my mana efficiently. Uh, Tundra? And then this can get Tiger later. Hmm, I guess using my mana efficiently is nice. <laughs> this is such a sick turn one. Emery, oh my god, they were Miller a Talisman, okay. Sure. Acceptable. Heads, I lost the flip, classic. Uh, let's play a Verdant Catacombs. Sack this, gain some life, go find a tropical island. I guess Saragon's saying staying home on defense, right? What am I doing with this Teferi? There's nothing I'm desperate to bounce. I could just bounce my mana crit until I actually need it. Oh, I'm one mana short of casting the Hermit this turn. 
Sadness. Yeah, Workshop doesn't play for abilities, thank goodness. All right, let me get back a Talisman. I'm really happy they replaced Signets with Talismans. Talismans are such higher quality of life. Not having to fiddle with the filtering mana. It's huge. Uh, so I could get Scrubland for our Leyline Binding, or I could get Tiger. Let me get Scrubland, this can get Tiger later. Then I am gonna play out this Mana Crypt. This Mana Base is a treat, right? So good. Kind of wanted to swing with Saragon. We have a lot of blockers. <laughs> Vanishing versus fading is so silly. <laughs> uh oh. Sure wish I could bounce that construct token. Oh my god. Okay, that's a lot of mana you have there, friend. I took all the lands. Every single one. Oh, Saragon can get back to Fairy. That's so funny. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. I'm in danger. Oh, I need to draw something good at some point in this game. I won the flip. Go me. Upheaval one time. Upheaval would be spicy. All right, I'm holding back everything to block. Can't attack into a reach creature. A reacher, if you will. Crate draw. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, next time we get to bounce thing with Teferi, replay Teferi, bounce another thing, dig two cards deep. And that's gonna be really good. Fuck. That's pretty good ape. Pretty, pretty good fucking ape right there. Mm. So reasons to hold Tiger, we have Sylvan Library. I think I'm just gonna sack it, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna sack it. Big monkey. Sure is. Very large and very in charge. What? They didn't attack. That must have been a misclick, right? <laughs> that must have been a misclick. They've given us a chance. I won the flip. I'm so lucky. Can I stop drawing lands, please? Um, bounce big gargs or bounce the construct? Gargs almost out in the air. Bounce my oh my god, that's so sick. 
we found the right line. One, two, three, four, five. I can only cast one of them this turn. I guess it's this one. Play the blue source because of arrow. Let's see, go. We just need to buy time. We have sail and we have upheaval on our deck, both of which are like pretty likely to just win the game. That is a shock. We just need to buy time. Although this Kogler blowing up our mana crypt definitely makes upheaval a bit worse. Okay, they aren't even attacking with the Kogler. That's good news. I will block with some squirrels. <laughs> Alright, they get to kill my hermit and my elf, which sucks. Mirage mirror. Yeah, fucking yes. What does this do? That deck is crazy. Okay. Ooh, I need upheaval soon. I'm running out of time. I'm very much running out of time. I mean, that fins out the deck, I guess. It doesn't kill anything, right? Oh, it could kill the Seed Shark, and then they get to draw two cards. That doesn't sound incredible. Gains life, it sure does. Running out of time. Uh huh. Not not. You can just back up on this, right? How many mana sources are? How many lands are even left on our deck? We have one mox. Six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11 lands. I think we have three lands. We have two lands. So we have a mox and two lands left in our deck. And this is going to get one of them. We should start drawing spells. Although a lot of our spells are not very impressive at this point. It's Uro, Upheaval. There are like some good ones. All right, the monkey is really awkward. So the monkey can return Urza to their hand. But the monkey doesn't have trample, so that's nice. I just want to take down this construct. Yeah, I have at least one forest. I have Breeding Pool and I have a forest. I think are the two remaining lands in my deck. Oh, and a Sea Chrome Coast is the third one. So 
So yeah, there are three lands left in my deck. Some counters. They should really kill this elf at some point, right? I'm kind of amazed they haven't done that yet. I'm not convinced upheaval is actually good anymore now we've lost Mox Diamond, is the problem. Because they have so much ramp over there, they can just rebuild really quickly, right? Jesus, this Urza, this Urza is so good. Um, I mean, I cannot beat Force of Will. Yeah, this might be a game free situation, I agree. They didn't take the force. I'm gonna I'm gonna wait one more time before I scoop. I do have upheaval in my deck. Thanks, Mana Crypt. Uh, maybe I can wait two more turns. Maybe I can keep playing this game for some nonsense reason. Alright, your turn. Yep, prime time is now just a 6 6 trample. There are no lands to find. So if they're smart, they'll jitter the 1 1s and kill me, I guess. Oh, right, that's a card in your hand. All right, all right, all right, next game, next game. That was not our finest. That was not our finest. Is it weird that I'm kind of interested in Paradox Go Outcome and that after that, Paradox Go Outcome would have been really good that game. It would have drawn us like four cards. I don't know, it's probably bad. It's like probably bad, but it might be really good. Over like this Boonbringer Valkyrie that doesn't really seem built for this matchup. Fucking hell, this sounds so close to good. Okay. Well, this hand is trash tier. Am I allowed to keep this? I feel like this hand can never win a game against that deck. Right? It's so slow. Don't keep this. Yeah. Okay, this can do it. This can do it. So we're obviously getting rid of Wandering Emperor and a land. 
Um, it's obviously not the fetch land, and I assume it is not the trop. And this can go get tundra. Cool. I mean, this is a good, a good five. Gotta say, this is a very good five. And they don't have workshop this game. Uh, Mana Crypt eats into our library activations a bit. Although I could just go turn two Hermit. Huh. I could just go turn two Hermit. Seems like pretty strong. Then I can always bounce the mana crypt if I need to with Tef to make sure I can keep drawing cards off library. Won the flip. Amazing. That's a whole extra card right there. Saragon can get back Arid Mesa, which is a shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six. We can't go get prime time this turn. I kind of want to play Saragon. But I guess I can't without paying life. Green Sun Zenith is a shuffle, it's true. Oh, mm, interesting. Sorry, I'm just trying to figure out what to do here. Uh, this is a tricky little turn. I kind of just want to pay for life, play Saragon, get super aggro. Now we have lethal on board next turn. I can get back the fetch next turn to go find prime time if I want. That blocks a squirrel and they take nine, ten, even. Bounce it and kill them. Oh, that's true. That's so much more boring. <laughs> but I guess you're right. I guess you're right that that's a legal option. I was doing all this like mental maths, like, oh, if I do X, Y, and Z. Do all these things. Look, they got to do lots of game actions last game. I'm allowed to do game actions this game. I should crack the fetch. <laughs> Always be delighted by that. <laughs> Glad to hear it because it's not going to stop. We're going to run a quick ad break before round two. That was sick. Easiest multiply of my life. I know, right? That multiply was unbelievable. Oh, hey, Bo. Hey, Bo. We played the Razor, but oh, you're right. You're right. What a punt. What a punt. This deck is a beaut. This deck is perfection.
All right, round two. This is not a good hand. By the way, it can cast turn two ley line binding, which is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm still gonna mulligan, but it is very funny <laughs> that we can turn to this ley line binding in cube. Uh, okay. I mean. Turn to ley line binding in cube is something, huh? We have a lot of mana here. I don't know what we're doing with it. We need to figure that one out, but we do have a lot of it. Powerful, such a powerful magician. Let's put the tiger back. And then we go fetch a forest for this Arbor Elf. Go get Tropical Island. It's very possible I was not meant to keep this Mox Diamond, I don't know. Anyway. Turn one, say go. <laughs> Deck, please give me something. Fort sees me, do it. Do it, do it, come on, come on. Oh. Wow, punished for the Mox Diamond, huh? Would love to have another land drop in hand right now. Oh, I see. Uh, I mean, as I don't know, this could be a lot scarier. This could be like substantially scarier, right? Like we just have answers to it. Like, I don't know, it's fine. It's like pretty good, I guess, but. Yeah, I was I was thinking if they have their own Elish Norn, that would have been very unfortunate. Take free. The mana crypt giveth, the mana crypt taketh. How creative. Let's get creative. Okay, they go to twelve. Four turns. Ooh, one mana. One mana away. Take free. Oh boy, their life total suddenly doesn't matter very much. Uh, can we please draw an untapped land? I hate everything. <laughs> Scream. Why? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna take some damage, I guess. Problem is their black white deck is probably pretty good at answering Elish Norn. And they have a colonnade. It's not the time to pull this crap, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I love a primeval titan as much as the next the next person, but Oh, this does have menace. Hmm. You know, hopefully we do anything of relevance next game. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, okay. Much as the next rat. Mm -hmm. Welp. The ramp deck giveth. Oh my god, yes. Keep. Turn one library. Let's go. And then mulliganing to five. And it's gas. Mana Crypt and Library are not very good friends, it has to be said. <laughs> they do not like each other very much. Your turn. Oh my god. They have it again. Fracture my own crypt to burn them out. Oh, and they have a black lotus too. It's a good mold to five. It's a good mold to five right there. Does rival our mult five, doesn't it? Oh, do I just have to pay four to dig through this like clump? I need to find something good next turn is the problem. Yeah, we need to shuffle real bad, I agree. I wonder if I was meant to play Ren and Six just to soak up some damage here instead. Keep, 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 keep. Hey Jarvis, good to see ya. All right, they didn't cowdra me, for which I am incredibly thankful. Oh my God, losing that flip is so bad for me. And we didn't, I guess the green suns is a shuffle. One, two, three, four, five, six, but we already have the hermit in hand. What's the problem? I don't know if I can afford to play life, but it gets me an Arbor Elf, true. Can't I do anything about it? It can get me an Uro. Which could be fine. One, two, three, four. And then I can still play Ren. Yeah, I did consider taking Grist at one point in the draft. It would have been pretty nice here. Oh, good draw. Good draw. They still have this Black Lotus in hand. I don't know what their plan is with it. I need to stop losing Mana Crypt flips very soon, though. I do know that much. I really hope they attack Ren. They did not. Opponent is smart. Yeah, there's the Black Lotus. Eight mana. 
What is this? Oh my god. This is bad news is what it is. It's a really good draw. I just have to keep the binding, right? And then I get to bind the blister, one, two, three, four, five, play Hermit. True, we lost two the first two flips. That means we have to win the next we're gonna win the next four, right? It's just like a basic logic. It all has to average out in the end. Did you have this arrow in the yard? You know, to gain us life in 20 turns time. Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute, Bo. I didn't think of that. Wow. I didn't think of that, but that's a very cute line and might have been correct. <laughs> It still wouldn't be one less flipped crypt. Crypt flipped. You know what I mean. But um I still I think the extra point would still be more relevant than two loyalty at this moment. Alright. Heads or tails. Woo! Get to keep playing. Get to keep playing. Oh. 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 I cannot cast this this turn is the problem. Oh, so close to kids. No, we don't win. We don't have white mana. The problem. What do I do? I'm not identitying this crypt. That is coward's play. Big drop, put Hellish on top. Big drop doesn't really accomplish much, right? Maybe, I don't know, if they have two crypts, they could just die. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. <laughs> All right, if I sail into the west, is there anything yet? Oh my god, sail into the west into Uro. One, two, three. Four. Kind of love the two crypts. Like, what are they going to do with a second crypt, you know? Light steel, so be it. So be it. I can't believe I'm doing this. <laughs> oh. I wonder if I was meant to leave this in the yard for Uro. Almost certainly, right? I was almost certainly meant to do that. I 
can retrace of it. That's true. Potentially. They lost and won. All averages out. Oh my god, we did it! We did it! We did it! <laughs> we actually won this game! Where we fractured identity to our own mana crypt to give them a second crypt. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Cube is, uh, is something, right? Cube sure is something. This hand is very mopey, but I think I'm gonna keep. I think I'm gonna keep this. When they don't have Crypt and Lotus, that deck seems fairly slow, right? <clears throat> The deck is very fair outside of those two cards, so I think I can, like, get away with this hand. Maybe I'm wrong. Cool. Galaxy Brain. Uh, so this needs to go get a white source. I guess I need to have Tiger in play for potential Ren. And the only white source this can fetch doesn't cast Ren. So I should just lead on a land that can cast Ren. I guess. Also, I kind of want to hide the fetch land so that they don't know to kill this. Okay. I don't have black mana. Every game. This is the third game in a row where they've had both. This is the third game in a row where they've had both, y'all. Uh... Yeah, this again. I guess I'm just going to play Library instead. I would play out Wayfinder if they hadn't just grabbed Black Lotus. That's true, we've had Library Town too consistently. He plays Mana Crypt, so unfair. All right. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Seven. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. This is weirdly good against me. Yeah, it could have been much worse, it's true. I don't think I'm paying life. Um, I am going to be shuffling. I guess I want to... Can I have two white sources from this hand? This can get Scrubland. This can get Tundra. Which means we have to get rid of the cards that are not white sources. Yeah, Emperor kills it. Good. Exactly. We're not going to crack this fetch until our, uh, until their turn because of the relic. I don't want to give them relic food. We can help it. Relic's so good against our like Uro and Ren, huh? This Wayfinder kind of. I mean, we could win this game. Like, if they don't have much else and we exile the Flesh Gorger, Flesh Gorger's going to hit me for 14, but then I gain two. Hand is empty, yeah. That's the hope. Flesh Gorge and Mana Crypt combo. Wombo combo. 
also a wombo combo. Pretty good. Okay, they're digging for action. I definitely want to go get Tundra. Ooh, Arrow is nice to restock our life total once we've got rid of this thing. Main phase slam emperor, yeah. Oh, if I Utopia Sprawl, I get to prime time next turn. Maybe that's better. I guess I can kind of do both, right? I can name White, and then I can play Trop. And then I get to keep the arrow, and I think I would really like this arrow. And then I save a life, because I'm not cracking the fetch as well. I guess main phasing it does have the downside that they can now kill my Wayfinder and attack the Emperor. That's fine. Means they're not attacking me. Obviously, I would love to attack and get some lands back, but um, got a block here. Yeah, the face of life is rude. Holy shit. That deals four to us, right? When it attacks. Deals a lot to us, yeah. I really want it to prime time, but I don't think I can crack this fetch land. Means I guess I have to Uro. To gain some life. I need this as a chump blocker, kinda. I guess I can make a chump blocker with Emperor. Uro ain't nothing, yeah. Fetch Uro. I think that's the line. I have Ley Line Binding. I could just grab this. This makes white. I need blue, green, white. Nice. It's not ideal because they do get to recast this and get some tokens, I guess. I can't bounce this is the thing. I can't actually bounce this. I think if I bounce this, I just kind of like turbo die. I could bounce a token though, which makes this a bit weaker. Or I could bounce this and look for Fractured. Yeah, bouncing it is scary. Yeah. Oh, we also have Elish Norn. 
We could just bounce this. We could just bounce this. We have Elish Norm, we have Fractured Identity. And we get to dig a lot with the Sylvan Library. And also just Leyline Binding this and then deal with the tokens. Yeah, I think bouncing plays best, I agree. I like bouncing. And then I think I'm just meant to make a 2-2, otherwise they just attack down Emperor anyway. And we kind of want Emperor in the yard for like Uro, potentially. Okay. So they get to recast the Battle Sphere, but then we get to dig free cards to look for some action. We do need to find something though. Gabby with the 28 months. Thank you so much, Gabby. Really appreciate that. Hell yeah. So we're looking for Land Elishnorn, Fractured Identity. Oh, I think there was something else as well that worked. Oh, those, those are some good fucking cards right there. Okay. And we get to play the Elf. Which lets us cast Elishnorn next turn. Oh, we can't actually cast the Elish Norm without a land drop, is the thing, Callie. We needed land plus Elish Norm to do that one, but that's okay. Because now, we're oh, I can do... I guess I have to do this now, otherwise they get to use the trigger, right? So I have to do it now. We can almost get back this arrow. So EP, so CP. All right, so you go. We're looking pretty good now. I don't know. We have Alish Norn coming next turn. Plague Wind. Plague Wind plus Overrun. They need like Walking Ballista. Doesn't kill me. And it still might not be good enough, but it's pretty good. What a game, I know, right? Crazy. Oh shit. Can the best card in their deck beat me? Yeah, Elish Norn's secretly just the MVP of the entire fucking deck somehow. Oh no! Opponent agrees. Wow, GG. GG. Rip. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's not how Elish Norm was supposed to end the end the game exactly. I agree. Apparently the best card in their deck was able to beat us. What I'm learning from this draft is that apparently Elish Norn is just broken. <laughs> just exclusively wins the game when cast, no matter who's casting it. Uh... Okay, the sound is not much better. Can I keep this? Am I allowed to keep this? I don't, mm, I don't know that this does anything. I think they're going to five. Okay. We're just gonna hope the sail into the west can do some nonsense, I guess. I don't know. This game's gonna be a tough one to win. <laughs> I mean, Saragon helps a little bit, kind of. 
Britain Monolith, huh? Interesting. Oh, it's probably meant to wait until my turn on this. Um, Tiger or Trop? Probably Tiger? Mm, they're actually casting something off of it. That's what? What is happening? Okay. Okay. Uh, not bad. I feel so dead. <laughs> that deck is sweet. Oh my god, that deck is sweet. Okay. Draw some cards. I play some nonsense. I feel like I don't block. I can go this, get back Misty. Or I can go Mox Diamond, get back Razor Verge. I should probably have done that before casting this if that was my plan. I probably, I'm i like kind of forced into this now, right? Otherwise, they can like Solitude this in response. Fine, we can start to refract it. I didn't see for that one ring. That would be pretty sick. What is this? Oh my god. Shouldn't have attacked. It wasn't worth it. <laughs> now they get to plus on this and bash if they want. Yep. It's fine. This just means that when we draw upheaval, we get a Sarah Paragon back from underneath that Leyline Binding. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. Indeed, indeed. Well done. That deck's so cool. I can't really get over it. Like. I guess we're sailing into the west this turn. Leave it till that turn, since it's an instant. If I do it now, they lose two cards. Frog. Okay, and we do it now, right?
be named in bark so we don't give the opponent an option Swords to plowshares. Are we didn't find our upheaval? This Elish Norm's like pretty good though. Oh, they chose to not discard. They really like the hand. Interesting. Do I want to swords this free free? I guess I am kind of dying. They haven't shown us a great number of creatures. Should we discard a Neuro 7? I just don't know. Very challenging. Uh -huh. I'm glad I didn't take free. Okay then. And again. Oh boy, that's new again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hey shops. Uh what am I doing? I guess I'm Elish Norning and nothing else. Otherwise I die. Oh, good talk. They didn't kill my Mox Diamond. Interesting decision. They do have so much stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I assume the best card in their deck can kill me here. This one ring card's pretty good, huh? How high a pick first pick is one ring? It must be like top 25 cards in the cube, right? Walking Ballista? Oh. I see. Hmm, one of the best pick ones. That definitely checks out. Upheaval. Upheaval. I don't know how we possibly win, even if we draw upheaval, but. Uh, cool. Next game. Easily better than Twister. Ah, huh. that makes sense. That definitely makes sense. Ooh. Turn one Tiger Elf, turn two Ren. And then we have Fetchland plus Sylvan Library going. I miss out on attacking for a damage this way. Yeah, I think Twist is kind of great. Time Twister deserves more respect, honestly. It's better now than it have ever has been in the past, indeed. There's like Bowmasters, Shouldered, Narset. So many combos with it, and it's also just generically very strong in big green decks.
kind of have to die. Yeah, Hulk Reacher is maybe the worst card ever printed. <laughs> If you told me that Hole Breacher was the worst card ever printed, I would probably agree with you. Time Vault was less enjoyable than Hole Breacher? Maybe. Maybe. Ooh, that's a prime time. Some point. Do I want to make a shark or do I want to make a typhoon? Oh, Paragon Library, right. I'm silly. That seems pretty good. I almost don't want to return the land. Right? Because I need it in the yard for this Uro. Oh my god, Saragon Uro is so funny. Ooh, oh wait, we got a land. I forgot all that card's awful. Okay. Love to have a land. All right, Elish Norn. Can't make this shit up. Um, oh. Magic is easy. I've heard this about magic. How? <laughs> Don't question the fates. I even want to get back a land. I guess one more land is fine, but we probably don't want to ever get back another one. Cool. But we do like, like having a shuffle with library is nice. This is our final shuffle. Outside of just like throwing away fetch lands. For the hell of it. All right, I'm on a two turn clock. And you're not doing very much. Ooh, what time is it? Oh, thanks, Shops. I was already wondering. I'm a little scared of Ugin. But whatever. I'm not playing around you again. Just doesn't even matter particularly. Yeah, if they well, if they Ugin, they minus seven and they lose the Ugin. So there's that. With they Ugin, we just get to like make a hermit or something. I'm probably meant to ping them with Ren so that hermit's lethal, right? Lethal on its own. Hmm, I see, I see. Acceptable. Solemn doesn't actually find anything. Ah, cool. Kill Elspeth, attack them. 
Hold up shock, I guess. Pay one life. To clear the top of my library. Why no basics? Why would you do this? We haven't actually upheavaled all draft. Let's see. This is acceptable. Oh, it's only an 8 because I didn't ping them. I have to attack the Ugin. Oh no, I can just, uh, never mind. I remembered how magic works. I remembered how my really strong cards work. Excellent. Dunk. The good thing is they didn't do anything that game. The bad thing is they might do stuff next game. Oh, that like it's spooky. That looks a bit spooky. All right. I wish I had any answers to one ring. Other than this bind. I guess we have binding. We have binding. Binding's pretty good. Ooh, combo hand. Uh, nice Arbor Elf loser. <laughs> nice Arbor Elf. <laughs> Interesting. No mana type. Turn two Valk and hope it's good. Oh no, they're probably getting one ring. Getting soul ring. Oh, that looks even better than I thought. Oh, hello there. Kind of want to do this instead. The other ring. Uh huh. There's a Lotus Petal, Elspeth time, One Ring time. <sighs> the game is when they don't have this card, it feels like we put up a good fight. The game is when, we, when they do, however. A little bit spooky. Let's draw a Ley Line Binding. Go game. Summoning cards, I know, right? Magic is easy. <laughs> They'll try and tell you magic's hard, but they're wrong. It's actually really easy.
How much mana Gorkalor costs? Hmm, how do you remember that? Oh my god. Hey, you're right, it does cost four mana. Wow. That's such an easy way to remember when you put it that way. Ah. Huh. <laughs> Phil, thank you for the four gifted subs. Stefan the Moonraker. Hellraiser666. Six, 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 Roman Yet and Bright Black. Thank you so much, Phil. Pretty sweet of you. Yeah, very good, right? Very good uh, mnemonic right there. Is they go get Kafar Commando to blow up this? I guess Ugin is now terrifying because Ugin gets rid of Leyline Binding as well. Well, they get Loran, sure. Thank <laughs> God you don't like Draco. Uh huh. <laughs> I think I would rather ping Loran than uh, Swords it. I don't think this Renault was doing much this game, so. Probably just gonna start aggro pinging soon. Dunk. We just have to hope we can murder them before they draw any of their actually scary cards. <laughs> By giving me money, it's like you learn something, like I'm coaching you. <laughs> But Goreclaw isn't a real magic card. Goreclaw is all just a figment of my, my imagination. I had a weird nightmare once that I had to play a kicker theme deck in standard, red green kicker. It was all built around this card called Goreclaw that I can only assume was just a figment of my imagination. Oh my God, that's a good damn. Well, damn. That sucks for us. You remember having a dream like that? Wow, must be endemic. I don't actually know what that word means. But I hope I used it correctly. Do I want to ping them or get back this fetch land? Honestly, both are pretty tempting. I think I'm pinging them. I think every point counts. This is where we're at. Just can't remember it very clearly. That sounds like it's for the best. <laughs> All right, they draw three cards. I mean, if I can get another ping in, they're dead in two turns. I didn't see much life gain. They have Wandering Imp. I don't know what else they even have as life gain. I guess Ugin, but that's very slow. Only I hadn't set that new donation deck rule, indeed. <laughs> oh no, that's an house buff. Okay. That's a little spooky. Ooh. 
If I'm gonna add a Snort again, that would have been very strong, wouldn't it? I don't know if I meant to minus or plus this ran, honestly. I think I meant to minus. But there are definitely draws that make me want to plus, you know? Yeah, I hope they maybe die. That's the aim. We have this Swords to Plowshares, which doesn't really do much. Kind of blank cardboard against them right now. Oh no, what do you have, opponent? Pretty good. Okay, they're on two. Two more pings. Two more pings. I kind of feel... Uh oh. I kind of feel like that one ring is the only card in their deck that matters. I guess we can draw Elishnorn. Oh, was I meant to exile this in response? They can still cast Elishnorn. So I let my ring go, I guess? I was probably meant to exile this when it was a 1-1. One, one. I'm definitely not exiling it now, it's a 4-4. Four, four. But, I don't know. Elishnorn. 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 Yeah, I'm on. Hmm. So I can plus on this, attack with all three. Or I can make a 2-2. Two -two. Alright. Gonna be a tough one. Yeah, I think they didn't want to trade for the token because now they can plus to attack Wandering Amp, right? I don't know why Moto is this frozen. Uh, so if I sword this, I get to keep my Wandering Amp. They also gain a life. Puts them to free. Yeah, the problem is they're about to ultimate this Elspeth, and then their creatures are huge. But I guess that's then a turn of them not making creatures. 
maybe that hand just sucks. We just need to draw up people. If we draw up people, we win. We're just trying to buy time until that. Oh no. Pretty good. Okay. Upheaval time. Or uh, fractured identity, steal the Ugin. We have two draws that win the game here. <sighs> now they kill me, right? I think I'm dead on board if they ult the Elspeth, if they see the line. I think I'm dead on board. <laughs> Oh, this is sad. I thought this deck was really sick, but it seems like we're gonna one and two with it. I'm kind of surprised. We had like multiple, we had a Mox and a Mana Crypt. Yeah, the deck was still sick, it's true. Surprised, I thought this would be an easy two one. Like, look at it, it's beautiful. 